Dear sisters, brothers, siblings in the Episcopal Church in Northern Indiana, grace and peace be with you and Jesus, the light for all people. Greetings, friends. As we face a rise in COVID-19 cases and hospitalization rates in our area, and with the arrival of the new Omicron variant to Indiana, I believe it's important that we revisit our diocesan COVID-19 guiding principles. As you may know, the Episcopal Diocese of Northern Indiana is spread across 31 counties. The Indiana COVID-19 dashboard and map advisory level graphic was updated this afternoon. It currently reports that 19 of the 31 counties within our diocese are currently in the red advisory level. Those counties are Lake, Newton, Porter, Jasper, Laporte, Stark, Marshall, Elkhart, Kosciuszko, Wabash, Whitley, Noble, LaGrange, Steuben, DeKalb, Carroll, Howard, Grant, and Jay. The remaining 12 counties are currently in the orange advisory level. You may recall that in May of 2020, nearly two months after closing all of our physical spaces due to the outbreak of COVID-19, I released a pastoral plan in collaboration with clergy and lay leaders from across the diocese for how we could begin to regather in person for worship. Together, we lived into those guidelines for several months. As we've learned more about COVID-19, and as vaccines became more widely available, we revised and updated our diocesan guidelines. In May, 2021, we released guiding principles for each faith community to consider given their particular context. Each faith community has chosen to implement these guidelines differently based on what their clergy and lay leadership felt was right for their situation. The missioners and I met last week and discussed any revisions that may need to be made to our plan given the current situation. Therefore, effective January 1, I am requiring that proper masks be worn inside the buildings of our faith communities if the county in which your building is located and or the county or counties where a significant number of parishioners live are in the red advisory level as shown by the advisory level graphic on the Indiana COVID-19 dashboard and map. Clergy, readers, choirs can continue to remove their mask while speaking or singing if they are fully vaccinated, including having received a booster shot and they are speaking or singing in a location significantly distanced from the congregation because we know being able to read lips helps those with hearing difficulties. In addition, I strongly encourage each faith community to review their current operating procedures and to tighten up some of the COVID guidelines where they may have gotten a bit lax. Examples include returning to tracking those who attend each worship service, reinforcing physical distancing in pews and during hospitality, and ensuring access to hand sanitizer and masks. Please also continue to provide services and formational opportunities in a hybrid format whenever possible. Lastly, I want to reiterate the importance of getting vaccinated and receiving the booster shot. Doing this lessens your chances of getting sick and being hospitalized with COVID-19. In addition, getting vaccinated and boosted helps to protect those around you who may not be able to receive the vaccine due to their age or other health concerns. Please consult with your physician and do this at your earliest opportunity. As of the 28th of December, 2021, 54,144,941 cases of COVID-19 have been reported in the United States and 841,984 persons have died. Let's continue praying for the healing for those who are affected with COVID-19. Let's pray for the healthcare professionals who are taking care of those infected and pray for all who mourn those who died. May those who've died rest in Christ's peace and rise in Christ's glory.